I have owned a Polestar 2 since 2020, actually August 2020, so that's over three years now. And uh, in this video I'm just going to give my thoughts about the, the sound system in this car. So in this car I have the premium sound system with the Harman Kardon. The premium uh, sound system consists of 13 speakers, uh, an air woofer, or actually two I think, and uh, speakers all around the car. And one of the things you will notice, or at least I noticed, is even though there's a whooping 13 speakers, it sounds, most of the music comes from, it sounds like it comes from the center speaker in the front. Uh, so it's kind of, I'm not sure how to, exp how to say it in English, but everything feels like like there's a tiny small stage in on the front dashboard and uh, not you don't get the wide audio uh, and I'm not a big fan of that and something that's really lacking in this car is there's not many possibilities to adjust things you have this basic equalizer and you can do some adjustments there but it's kind of limited and if you sit in the back seat of this car the audio is really low it's really bad difficult to hear there are speakers in behind in the in the back seat there are two in the doors and even all the way rare there are some surround speakers but they are kind of difficult to hear, so the audio quality in the back seats are not good. I think the audio quality seems okay, but it's not something that would kind of blow your blow you away. Some 20 years ago I did, I had this old Opel where I mounted, installed a sound system from a Swedish uh, audio brand called DLS and it was miles better than this than in here. So without further ado let me tell you my plans. I am going to do some audio upgrades in this car. With this, this, are, this is just wires. So a lot of wires, we need a lot of wires in different colors. I even have some plugs and some bigger wires. This is for getting electricity from the front, from the battery and then back to the trunk. Uh, by the way, these cables are for uh, I don't want to cut the wire harness that is already in the car in case I want to revert my changes at some point. So instead of cutting cables, I'm going to make these plugs and if I manage to do that. So we can hopefully just plug it in. But let me show you here the heart of the new system which is this thing here uh, so this is the helix uh, v12 dsp uh, it's a dsp signal processor digital signal processor with 12 channel amplifier 14 channel signal processor it's supposed to be the the shit state of the art the best you can get, I don't know, but ooh, at least it's heavy. But I have a plan, and that is to install this uh, amplifier because when you do that, you can connect your computer to it and you can adjust everything, you get full control over each channel, and that's a good thing. That's what we want, so we can tune it. And then, 
when I have that installed. The plan is actually to, well, first of all, when I have that in place, I think I will be able to extract whatever, all the best from the built-in speakers, uh, hopefully. But my plan is to swap those factory installed speakers with some other brand. Um, I'm thinking of uh, speakers from a French, I think, company called Focal. Focal, Focal, maybe. Uh, from my understanding, it's really good. Uh, if you have other suggestions, suggests other ideas, comment below. Uh, I will be happy to think about other brands as well, but in my head now I'm set for focal speakers. And uh, yeah, so I will... Uh, I'm going to make this uh, video series here on my YouTube channel, so you can follow along. First is the... yeah wire everything up and connect the uh, the amplifier DSP I have never done this before I have actually no clue so we'll see maybe I hopefully I can get it work working and tune it the way I want normally you would go to an installer who knows his shit who will uh, install it for you but yeah I like to do things myself sometimes it's a success otherwise other times not so we'll see but if you are new on this channel and uh, not yet subscribed you know subscribe so you don't miss uh, the rest of this series where I'm installing this uh, upgrading this uh, the audio system in in this car and if you have any good advices I know a lot of you on the internet are really have a lot of knowledge so please comment below if you have any good ideas of on this setup um, yeah so to recap uh, this video uh, the audio system in this car it's it's good it's decent it's not it's not really bad what you can do because it lacks a bit in the base department. So what you can do is, uh, a, the cheapest upgrade is to install a subwoofer. Um, and that's probably what gives, you know, most bang for the buck immediately. Uh, I haven't done that yet, but I have plans. So I'm taking the long route, the expensive route, um, and the one, with most work so uh, but you know that's how it is we need to do this the correct way the proper way doing it ourselves yeah but yeah the audio in this car is good but it could be better so let's see if we can improve it okay until next time see you